In today's video, I'm gonna explain the concept of how getting this lean, getting ripped, is easy for someone like me and for others, and how it can be easy for you as well. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Parvella from ProPhysique.com. In today's video, I got a great question from my Instagram direct message, and the question is about getting ripped. So I wanna directly correlate this question to where you are in your life, because I think we all have goals physique goals, especially if you clicked on this video on how we can have more muscle, less body fat and look the way we wanna look on a daily basis. So let's start with the question. My 15 year old son is an elite level athlete. Despite his high physical fitness and strength, he's not ripped and he wants that. But would a calorie deficit be appropriate for him when he's still in puberty and has more growing to do? If not, what would you recommend? First of all, thank you for the great question. And yes, I did pick it. Now. First thing I wanna talk about is this definition of ripped because before we can get too far on this, we've gotta agree what that term means. I'm gonna say it means less than 10% body fat and a BMI that's pretty high, meaning your body mass index weight to body fat ratio is pretty high. So meaning you've got a lot of muscle, an abundance of muscle, and you've got low body fat. The way I would describe being ripped is if you saw someone walking down the beach, you look over and be like, damn, that dude's ripped. That's ripped, right? Ripped to me is, clearly defined six pack abs, not just those two that show up when you've had a bender and you know, a little dehydrated. I'm talking about sub 10% body fat. So to have this look, we have to have a couple things at play. We gotta have a good amount of muscle, a good amount of strength, a good amount of physical fitness that allows our muscles to be fuller and bigger, okay? Now, genetics are gonna determine a lot of things like muscle insertions. You see where my muscles insert? that's genetically predetermined. I cannot change that. When people say that they can change the length of their biceps, they're lying. Our biceps insert where they insert. You can en enhance the size of the muscles. You cannot change insertions. And what a lot of people don't understand is those muscle insertions are gonna change the way we look. People will look more ripped just because of the way their muscles insert on their body. Likewise, muscle fiber type is genetically predetermined. That means those powerful, fast twitch, larger muscles that are type two are predetermined. Now, there are a lot of muscle fibers in our body that can go either direction, type one, type two. There are many other types, but I'm only gonna focus on those two, but we can actually train to enhance them and just make them the best they can be for us. But still, there are gonna be some people that are just born with tons of type two fibers, okay? So we're gonna talk about some of these people and how they look ripped because for a 15 year old to be ripped, I would want you to focus on your craft and you can be ripped and be one of the best athletes in the world. We're gonna talk about some of those people right now, but I want you guys to understand that being ripped, being muscular, it's a combination of a good amount of muscle and low body fat. Now, if getting low body fat for a 15 year old is gonna mean a diminishing performance, then I would say it's probably not best to do. So I'm gonna highlight some athletes that I've seen that are competing at the highest levels of their sport. They have a lot of muscle and low body fat. So why can they do it? Well, because this is where training and nutrition meet the personality of the athlete. Meaning people that are gonna train really hard, likely multiple times per day, and are gonna eat really well, meaning they train for performance. They're focusing on their macros, their protein, their carbs, their fat. And if you don't know how to set up your macros for performance, for low body fat, or a lot of muscle, I've got a free calculator right here. I'll point you to prophysique.com slash calculator. That's gonna help you. This is what I do as a coach. This is what my goal as a coach is to help people reach the physique that they're after. Using macro ratios is a great way that we can focus on improving and keeping our performance while losing body fat. So let's talk about some of these athletes. The first one I wanna talk about is Caleb Dressel. He's an Olympic swimmer. This guy is an elite athlete. He spends hours in a pool, yet he's got a lot of muscle. Now. He doesn't set out to be ripped. As far as I know, he's not saying, I wanna be the most ripped man in the pool. He wants to be the fastest man in the pool, the best man in the pool. However, for him to achieve this goal, he's gotta be able to perform multiple times per day in the pool, and it helps him if his body fat is low because he is going to be better at his job. Therefore, he really focuses on his nutrition. So you can see someone like Caleb Dressel gets to be an athlete and gets to be ripped because that's part of the job. It's easy for him to be ripped, why? because it's not his focus. He has a life set up where he's focused around his goals. And this is where most people fail when they're trying to get ripped. If your goal is to get ripped, but that's the only thing that matters to you, you're not gonna pay as much attention to your nutrition and your performance as somebody who's got an extrinsic set of motivation to really push themselves every single day to be their best. 
The next athlete I picked was Sam McCulloch. Now he is on the Olympic gymnastics team for the United States of America. And if you ever watch the Olympic gymnastics teams, you would see this guy and be like, wow, look at his shoulders, look at his arms, look at his tiny waist. This guy is ripped. What is ripped? The guy is performing gymnastic events multiple times per day. He's got to eat to fuel his body and it's going to improve his performance if his body composition is better. Therefore, he is ripped. However, he is not waking up every day and saying, I want to be the most ripped athlete I can be. He's saying, I want to be the best athlete. So my friend, when it comes to your son, I wouldn't really want to be focusing on low body fat, being in a huge caloric deficit. Instead, focus on quality foods where you can maintain a lean physique while performing. You didn't mention what the sport was. That can also have something to do with it. The last athlete that I want to address is someone that doesn't necessarily benefit from being very, very lean. His name is Russ Orhe. He's a friend of mine, world-class power lifter, one of the strongest power lifters I've ever met in person and seen, and he's doing amazing things. Yet, if you look at him here, you see a guy that looks like, heck, he could probably be a bodybuilder, right? Tons of muscle, very lean, and yet he's setting records in power lifting because his performance is his priority, but he's also fueling his body for his performance. And it just so happens that his genetics, his performance, his nutrition lead to a ripped physique. But again, if you talk to Russ, being ripped is not his number one priority. This is where a lot of us can you know, run into troubles, especially in the younger years about trying to be ripped. If your priority is sports, focus on those sports. If your priority, priority is on your health and wellness, focus on your health and wellness. Now, I like to be ripped, why? because I like to get on a bodybuilding stage and compete where that being lean is rewarded. So again, I'm not focused so much on the aesthetics of I get to walk around being ripped. That is a mindset that doesn't really lead you to get lean. When I was younger, I thought I wanted to be ripped until it came down to doing the actual work, until it came down to making my food, saying no to social events, putting my priorities and my actions in line with that actual goal. It didn't happen for me until I was in my 30s when I actually started doing my cardio, my training, my nutrition around building the most muscular, leanest physique I could. And now, after 30 years of doing that, I've learned how to stay ripped and make it easy. It's simply a part of my day. I do cardio every day. I prep my meals every couple days in advance. I go to the gym and I love training. So it's become a part of my daily routine where I no longer have to focus on losing body fat and building muscle. I just focus on having a great day every single day and that gets me there. Now, if your goal is to lose body fat and put on muscle, you may have to spend a little bit more time in a deficit, but I want to encourage you, if your sport requires you to perform well and you're young, do not focus on the aesthetics right away. Train hard and eat well and you'll be amazed at what the body does. Look at CrossFit athletes, look at Olympic athletes. Now these guys and women are some of the most genetically elite athletes on the planet, but this is what happens when really good genetics meets really good focus, nutrition and training. The body looks that way and that's why it's desirable. But I promise you, the people I mentioned in this video, they're not focused on the aesthetics of it. They're focused on the performance of it. The aesthetics are a bonus. Okay, hope you guys are having a great Monday. Let's have a great week. Send me some questions, ask your questions below. And we're going to make a bunch of videos this week. And I'll talk to you tomorrow.